Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hedron here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. As you can tell from the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a thrift haul. I got all these items from the Goodwill. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film while I was at the store because it was raining and the parking lot was far away from the store. Um, so I had to, I didn't want to carry on my camera and chance of getting wet. So I just ran in, um, but it, oh, I did go to the Goodwill Boutique in Anaheim is called Rare and if you've ever been there you know that parking is a little ways away and you have to like kind of run over when it's raining uh, but if you guys love thrifting thrift hauls and vlogs do not forget to subscribe hit the little bell button so that you're notified when new videos do go up add me on Instagram it's Hadrian just like spelled here and check out my shop it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures where a lot of these items are gonna be up for sale if you guys are interested but without further ado let's head into the haul because I got a baggie full of stuff. So, um, I got a ton of like designer shoes and stuff and a couple handbags. So let me start off with these. I got these, um, cool like Birkenstocks. I don't even know if these are like actual, like I, I was having a hard time like finding them. Um, but I only took like really like two minutes to look for them so but I've never seen this style before I'm hoping that they're real but I kind of just want these for myself they're the plastic ones and um, I just wanted to like wear them around the house but they are white they kind of have like some marks on them I think it's from the sharpie that they used to write the price um, but it's totally okay these were ten dollars and they are size 43 yes super cool the first ones I have there these other shoes are really, 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 really exciting. Um, okay, so you will not believe these. These are authentic Louboutins. Look at these. They are gorgeous. They are in a red suede. And then it's like this cool, like, it kind of looks like a herringbone kind of design of the fabric. It's like woven. It's so, so pretty. Um, they are a size 38 and a half, and these were from Neiman Marcus, purchased originally, I guess. Uh, but yeah, they are so stinking cute. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, and so festive. Like, it's perfect for the season. Perfect for Christmas, the holidays. Really, you cannot go wrong with a red pump. I feel like they just punch up any outfit, and red goes with so many things and then the next thing i have here are these beautiful tory birch heels these are so high they are in like a beautiful like kind of like gray linen color and then it has a contrasting like golden brown like ankle strap with gold hardware and it just says little, it says Tory Birch right there on the side. And then there's that. And these are a size six. These look almost like new. Like the bottom has very little wear. And then the shoe itself, like the top of it, has like nothing. Like they look to be in such great, 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 great shape. And these shoes are so beautiful. And look at that high heel. It is intense. Like, wow, amazing. <laughs> But these are a size six. Anyone is interested, these are all definitely gonna be in the shop by the time you guys see this video. Uh, okay. The next thing I have here are these Manolo Blahniks. Oh my gosh, I have all them mixed up. I actually think I showed you guys these before. I think I just accidentally grabbed these. I'll show you guys them again anyway. But these were, I didn't get these from this trip, I got them from another trip. But I think I showed you guys these already, but I had them all like, kind of together. Because I, I was um, taking pictures of them and listing them. But um, these little Manolo Blahniks, super cute peep toe, these are at 38 and a half. How gorgeous are these in a beautiful black patent leather? So, 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 so beautiful. Ugh, gorgeous. I love those. Then, while we are on Manolo Blahniks, here is another set. And these are a size 38 and a half as well. 
And these are cute. They look like, um, kind of like driving moccasins, right? But then they're heels, and the heel is in a red color. So stinking cute. And I love that there's contrasting red stitching. That is beautiful. I love it. And these were nine, I think these are, oh, $7.99. Yeah, the sticker is like right there. $7.99. And these are in fantastic condition as well. I cannot believe how great these shoes are. Like, and all these shoes, I, I found them like all at the same time. They just brought them all at the same time. And I was just like, oh my gosh. What luck. And it was crazy because I, when I walked in, the cart was already out. And then people like were already looking at the shoes and they were like leaving. And, like as if they were like uninterested. And I was like, oh my gosh. How lucky am I that I found these shoes. And I cannot find the other shoe. I think I left it in my room. But... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, excuse me. I'll show you this anyway, but this one is a super special shoe. And again, I do have two of them. There's the left and the right one. Uh, I think I just left the other shoe ever. But this is another Manolo Blahnik. And this is in like a... It's almost like an ombre kind of lizard skin. So it goes from like a brown to like a beigey tan to red. And then back again. And the heel is red and then it ombres as well. Like it's so pretty. The detail is literally amazing. The shoes are in fantastic shape. And these shoes were actually signed by Manolo Bonnick himself. And these are in a size 38 and a half. Can you believe it? They were signed. That is amazing. And look how beautiful this shoe is. Like it looks like a work of art. Like how cute would this be just to have it displayed? on like a bookshelf with like the shoe kind of like this shoe is kind of like this and then the other shoe is like right next to it and like it's just like so decorative and so gorgeous and it's just like so fun to have like a piece of like fashion history and just so cool to have like Manolo Blahnik signature on a shoe so yeah very exciting so this is gonna go up in the shop as well but then if no one wants it I think I'm gonna do exactly what I told you guys I was gonna do with them because they are so stunning. Ugh, I love them. Look at that. They're like so classy. The heel's not too high too, so it's not going to kill you to walk in them. Well, I don't actually wouldn't know. It might kill you to walk in these too. Um, but I hear Manolo Blonics are very comfortable. But there you go. So that pretty much is the end of the video. Um, like, oh, you know, no, it's not. It's not the end of the video because I still have two bags. I can't believe I forgot these. Okay. So... First of all, I have, this is a authentic Stella McCartney bag. Now, I know like right now, um, Stella McCartney's most popular bag and most well-known bag is the Flabella. This is um, an, a little bit of an older style, but it's just a shoulder bag and all of her bags are vegan leather because she doesn't believe in hurting animals to make fashion. So this is a beautiful, it's kind of like a, it's not like a patent, but it's like, Kind of like a patent feel of the leather. It's black with silver hardware. Here's a little Stella McCartney um, zipper pull. And then you push this together and this pops open. And here is the interior of the bag. So this was an amazing deal. Um, here's a little Stella McCartney made in Italy thing right there. And this bag was $15. This is a little XV on there. But yeah, so stinking cute. Stella McCartney. And then this one was such an amazing deal. I cannot believe it. And the color, like I feel like it's like kind of like a gray, like a grayish, and with like tones of navy. But it is a little coach bag. And it's called the Coach Lunch Pail, which is so adorable because it even says Lunch Pail on the little thing. And it says Coach right there, so adorable. Okay, and then it still has the original price tag on there. I guess it was originally $3.95 and it was on sale for $3.89.99. Um, it has all of like... This is my original receipt. But it has the Creed right there. And this one was $50. Here's a little tag. It was 
$99.99. But how cute is this? It has a little turn lock pocket in the front, which is super duper cute. And then the interior has just two open pockets and it's so i love this silhouette you guys know that lots of designers are doing kind of like this lunch pail shape and style bag like there's that chanel lunch pail looking bag which is so cute i know that alexander wang has a bunch of them um i think philip lim does um but yeah it's just so stinking cute fifty dollars and it was originally like almost four hundred dollars it's probably four hundred with um, tax and everything and this is a um, I feel like I think this is part of the legacy Collection maybe because it's kind of like the vintage style, but I believe this is a newer make so Yeah, so this is the vi this is the item that's going to end today's video Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. It was so much fun showing you guys what I got I wish I brought the camera but I just, the rain was just too intense like it was I know it's like kind of dramatic, but for California, it was like torrential. It was like raining really, really hard. Um, but I'm so happy I found all this stuff. And it was so, like at such amazing prices. And I, it's, it's just like, every time like I go to the store and I'm able to find so much amazing stuff all at once, it kind of just like reinvigorates me and makes me want to go thrifting even more. So I hope I can um, inspire you guys to go ahead, try and go out thrifting and see what, you guys, what kind of treasures you can find. And if you guys find anything exciting, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Comment here um, in this video and let me know if you guys find anything cool. Because again, I always love hearing about your finds. And that also inspires me to go out and go thrifting and see what treasures I can find. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are um, like Vlogmas videos, I am doing Vlogmas this year. I just got the tree up, which I am very excited about. It has a lot of thrifted elements in it, which are so exciting for me. Um, also, I am also putting up more of my Philippine vlogs as well. I know I took a little break from those because I was having a, like a really hard time uploading when I was in the Philippines and then when I got back, I got really sick. So now that like I'm getting, like I'm on the mend, I'm almost back to 100%, um, those videos have been going up as well. So lots and lots and lots of content is coming your way. I'm doing two videos a day for the whole month. So go check them out. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Now that I have all these mugs in here, I'm like, should I get all these mugs? Also, I found some toys. Um, like some Uno cards for the kids. Some um, penguin thing. And then this uh, cash register that I feel like Elizo might like. But uh, I'm questioning the holiday mugs. Trying to decide if it's going a little too far with the festiveness. Do I really need those glass mugs? They're, they're darn cute though with a snowman. 